here to talk to you about California State Summer School for the Arts, also known as CESA. CESA is a month-long summer program that celebrates all areas of the visual, performing, and writing arts for high school students in the state of California. We're a state-run program committed to supporting creatives every summer during the month of July, and we've been around for almost 40 years. Let's take a look at this short video to give you a sense of what CESA is all about. Our community is composed of 500 students each summer. We have over 150 faculty and staff who support our students during the program. So the ratio of student to teacher is about five students to one teacher. That's a lot of individualized attention and a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. CESA pulls from across the state as it is part of our mission to represent each of the 58 California counties. In addition, we have a small group of students from out of state and even international regions. It's our mission to reflect California's diverse cultural heritage through our student body, through our faculty, and through our academic curriculum. This is an ongoing aspiration of CESA's to support and celebrate diversity in this way. And our students also come from a variety of socioeconomic backgrounds. As CESA is a residential program, coming to CESA is your chance to live like a creative college student while you're still in high school. For many of our students, this is their first time living and creating away from home. We've been located at the CalArts campus, located in Valencia, California for a number of years, and on campus, students have access to a wide range of facilities to experiment and create with everything from labs and shops to state-of-the-art technology relevant to their major discipline of study. You know, students really have the space to try out new things, make and present their work, critique, and really just enjoy being in a creative hub with so many different areas of the arts together for an entire month. Students live on campus in the residence hall and they have their meals in the main cafeteria on campus. Your safety is, of course, our top concern. CESA provides 24-7 safety and security for our students, including resident assistants or RAs who live in the dorms with the students throughout the program. At all hours of the day, students are either in class, they're working on their craft, or enjoying activities, lectures, and other programs day in and day out. Trust me when I say this, you'll be busy. Students have opportunities to enjoy field trips to cultural centers such as the J. Paul Getty Museum, as well as recreational activities to places like Disneyland. And individual programs may also do studio visits and take other field trips related to their discipline, such as the Hollywood Bowl, the Geffen, and the Huntington Gardens. CESA offers seven unique disciplines, including animation, dance, film, music, theater, visual arts, and writing. Students come to focus on one of these areas, and some of them have electives and choices within their program. You know, the common thread if you talk to anyone at CESA is they're going to say that students are giving it their 100%. We like to say it's 100% hard work, 100% creative, and of course, 100% inspiring. And though you have a major area of study, sometimes students have the chance to work with each other in cross-disciplinary collaborations. Every summer, over 40 professional artists come to CESA to share their work with the students. They engage with the students in a variety of ways from master classes to performances. And there are really too many to mention, but here are a few recent examples for you. First, we have Alfonso Cuaron. He is a five-time Oscar-winning Mexican filmmaker with films such as Harry Potter, Roma, and Gravity in his body of work. We have Sidra Bell. She's a dancer and choreographer with her own New York-based company, and she's created over 100 works for renowned dance companies and schools all over the world. 
We have Adrian Molina. He's also a CSIC graduate. He was the writer and director of the Pixar film Coco, and he's worked on many of the most beloved Pixar films in recent history. And last but not least, we have Mercedes Dorame. She's a multidisciplinary visual artist who calls upon her indigenous Tongva ancestry in her work. Her work is in many major museum collections, including the J. Paul Getty Center. All graduates of CISA are awarded the highest honor given to a young artist in the state of California. You become a California arts scholar and you get a medal and a certificate. And you can use this on your resume or college application to ultimately show that you've completed a very prestigious and rigorous program. If you enroll at a California state college or university, you can also receive three college credits just from your experience at CISA. CISA alumni can then join the many benefits of the CISA Foundation. They host in-person and virtual college fairs where colleges and universities from around the country attend to meet with CISA students and alumni. They have partnerships with numerous colleges and universities who actually offer CISA students special scholarships for their artistic excellence, and in some cases, thousands of dollars to attend their schools. Alumni also have access to CISA's rich alumni network. And finally, many graduates of CISA actually give back years after they've completed the program, either through scholarship donations or by volunteering, ensuring a long-term legacy of CISA. The list of incredible CISA alumni is miles long, and though it's impossible to highlight them all, here are a few you may be familiar with. First, we have Phoebe Bridgers, a singer and songwriter. She's received 11 Grammy nominations and four wins as she continues to top the music charts. We have Martine Sims, a multimedia artist and publisher whose work has focused on the representation of Black culture. And she's been featured in galleries and museums from uh, MoCA and LACMA in LA to the New Museum in New York City. Next, we have Alex Hirsch. He is an animator, a voice actor, a writer, a storyboard artist, and a producer. And among his many accomplishments, he's also the creator of the Disney Channel series Gravity Falls. Last but not least, we have Edgar Arsenault, who is an artist who's exhibited his work all around the world. He also co-founded a community-focused housing initiative in, Lo in Los Angeles called the Watts House Project. And just to throw in a couple more names, Catherine McPhee and Zac Efron also went to CISA. So let's talk about how to apply for CISA. It's an online application and you can access the application by going to cisa.ca.gov. The application has four main parts to it. So the first part is you're gonna enter your contact information and that of your parents or guardian. There's a $20 application fee and waivers are granted for students who request one at the end of the application. The second part is we're gonna ask for two teacher references. Now these are not recommendation letters, rather simply the contact information of your teacher or your mentor. And if we have questions as we review your application, we may get in touch with them, though not everyone will be contacted. And we ask that you try to have at least one reference that relates to the discipline for which you are applying. The third part is transcripts from your high school. You can upload an unofficial copy to the online app, and we are only certifying your grade level, not your grades, when we're reviewing the transcript. And finally, the arts assignments, which are outlined on our website for each discipline. These assignments request that you prepare several visual, audio, or written work to support your application. And I have some application tips at the end of this presentation, so stay tuned. The application closes at 6 p.m. on February 28th. You want to make sure you have all of your required documents and assignments completed by this final hour. The CISA team will review your application during the month of March and notifications will go out in mid to late April, early May. You want to give yourself enough time to apply early. You know, if you wait until that final hour, you may not have time to ask the important questions that ensure a successful application. We recommend that you submit your application at least 48 hours before the deadline, even a week before. This is a good idea. Tuition is $4,830 for the full four-week program. This includes room, board, and many of your supplies. Note that most summer programs of this length are typically three or four times more the cost to the student. So we're fortunate to live in the wonderful state of California that supports young artists and CISA in this way. But the tuition cost that's still a big investment. So through funding provided by CISA, the CISA Foundation, and generous donors, 
almost 60% of our CESA students received financial aid just last year. Students may receive the full cost of attendance or partial cost depending on their financial need. And please note, no student is ever turned away because of their financial need. If you're hesitant to apply because of the cost, submit your application for financial aid and CESA will meet your need if you are invited to attend. The financial aid application is available on that same online application for the program itself. And know that applying for financial aid has absolutely no bearing on getting invited to CESA. In fact, your financial aid application isn't even looked at until after your program application is reviewed. To apply for aid, your parents or guardian will also need to upload a copy of their most recent tax information or other proof of income. And parents that don't have this can simply email comments at cesa.ca.gov for further assistance. Now you might be thinking, well, what makes a, a great CESA application? Now there's no right or wrong, but the basic rule of thumb is that the application should reflect you. Try to think about showing CESA a combination of your technical skill, your creativity or your creative voice and your passions and motivations, especially the things in the world that are meaningful to you. And each program has unique assignments, as I mentioned earlier, but the following are our top five tips that relate to all of the disciplines. So the first tip is to apply early. You know, every year we have students that wait until that final hour to submit their application. And if you experience technical issues, you may not have time to contact CISA or the online application support team and have your issue resolved. Trust me when I say we can tell that you submitted on that last day. So you wanna make sure you give yourself enough time and dedication to submit your best application possible. The second tip is to show you. Don't worry about what you think CISA wants to see. Show us what you want us to see. Your application shouldn't look like anyone else's. So be true to yourself and show us who you are. The third tip is the financial aid deadline. Keep in mind that if you're applying for aid, the application for financial aid is part of the online CISA application and you'll need to give your parent or guardian a heads up that they'll need to log in with you and complete this part of the application. In addition to required tax document, your parent or guardian will need to follow some additional instructions that may take them time to complete. If your application for financial aid is not completed by the deadline, you will not be able to apply later for aid. That means if you're invited to attend, you'll be expected to pay the full tuition cost. The fourth tip is to read the prompts carefully. We recommend that you read these prompts for your department several times through before, cre uh, before completing the creative assignments. Sometimes the language is general. For example, you can use any medium of your choosing. And other times the language is very specific. For example, include a short video intro statement that is less than one minute in length. It's very important that you follow these instructions and take advantage of the more open-ended prompts to express your creativity. The fifth and final tip is to ask questions. You can email us or attend several of the webinars leading up to the application deadline. You wanna start early so that you know what your questions are. And as we mentioned before, CISA is great about responding to email, often within a few hours of receiving your question. So please do not hesitate to reach out if you're unsure about something to comments at cisa.ca.gov. CISA has launched a brand new shortened version of CISA called the Summer Bridge Program. This program has been generously funded by the state of California to support students who didn't quite make it into the four week program. This program takes place just before the regular CISA program and participants in the Summer Bridge Program will obtain the skills and confidence they need to apply for the regular four week program. And though admission isn't guaranteed, graduates will have a taste of what to expect at CISA and will therefore have a lot to build on when completing their new application. So if you're interested in being considered for the Summer Bridge program, you can check a box at the end of your CISA application to express your interest in attending. And even if you don't check the box, you will still be considered if the committee feels that you would benefit from the program. And finally, have your questions answered. You can email us at comments at cisa.ca.gov at any point during the application process and feel free to copy your parents or guardians as well. Follow us on social media. We're active on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Check us out and stay tuned for important updates throughout the application process. And finally, visit our website. 
We will continue to update the site with news and important information, so please keep checking in as you work on your application. Thank you very much.